Hey guys, I'm a forester here and I was showing my boots a little bit of love this weekend and I thought it might be a good opportunity to just talk about boots. That's a random subject, but uh, there is probably nothing more near and dear to a forester's heart than his boots. These boots right here probably have been with me since for at least 15 years, maybe 20 years. Uh, I got these from Cabela's and they're actually branded Cabela's on the boot. But I got them from Cabela's. They were pretty good quality boots when I got them. Now when I buy a pair of boots for work, you know, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna put a lot of miles on a pair of boots. I've probably had, I was just thinking before making this video, at l I know no more than 10 pairs of boots in my career. My career spans, oh, I'll say over 40 years but I've probably had no more than 10 pairs of boots and probably more like seven or eight pairs of boots. Now, I look for a couple of things. One of the first mistakes I made when I got a pair of boots was getting those four-wheel drive soles, those lug soles. I don't do that anymore. These are the Vibram soles that I have on these. They're, they definitely have shown a lot of wear. You can tell that, they're about worn out but they're still going strong. I'll probably get me one more pair of boots uh, in my career. But uh, the reason I don't like the Vibram soles is they just pick up so much mud and then they get to be very heavy by the end of the day. So I'm talking about working outside, boots that'll go with working outside in mud, in water. Um, you know, you want to keep your feet dry and you don't want to carry around a lot of weight by the end of the day. So I generally get high top boots. I don't remember how tall these are, but they definitely protect my ankles and lower leg. I have been bitten by a copperhead before and I got bitten wearing tennis shoes and the bite came in about at that height level. So these protect me from snake bites, at least on the ankles and lower leg. Uh, I like the Vibram soles instead of the um, lug soles just because they don't track as much mud. One other thing that I look for is a Vibram, excuse me, not Vibram, but a Gore-Tex liner in the boot. Now, just lately, last week, I was working in a little bit of standing water, and so I'm not gonna go wading into a stream in these, but if I'm in water up to here, my feet stay perfectly dry, and I was in water last week. That's why I got these out, and and oiled them. So I get the Gore-Tex liner, um, I get the extra height, and then I also get the soles that I like. I will say I did have the best pair of boots that I ever bought, I bought in my first job. That was in 1977. I was working for Weyerhaeuser in Plymouth, North Carolina, and they had a company store. I don't know if they still have company stores or not, but they did then. And uh, so I went, uh, I already had a pair of boots that I'd gotten for this job, but they didn't meet their specifications. So I went to the company store and I bought a pair of boots from them. They were the best boots I've ever had. They were made out of horse hide, those boots. These are cow hide with a shark leather uh, tip to them. So this piece right here is shark leather and that has not shown anywhere whatsoever. That is really tough stuff. But those boots were all made out of horse hide and they had a different type of sole. That was so long ago, I don't remember the type of sole, but I will say those boots wore like no other boots I've ever had. And when I finally had to throw them away, what wore out first was the leather right across here. And that came from dragging my feet through vines over quite a few years that the vines just finally wore through the leather right there. But when I threw them away, the soles looked completely new. They didn't show anywhere whatsoever. Now those were unusual boots, but I did, I was impressed with the way that the horse hide wore. These are good boots and I did want to just mention what I did to put them back in shape. And so I had been working in mud and water uh, over the past couple of weeks. So I use this Filson's 
boot oil finish. So I put a good heavy coat of this everywhere, but especially on all the seams to waterproof those. So I have a Gore-Tex liner inside, but then that helps prevent the water from seeping in. And then I let that dry. I used a um, um, hot air gun. I can't think of what I want to call it, but anyway, to, to dry your hair and uh, to dry the, um, the leather. And then I put this Kiwi boot polish on and I use the neutral color just to give it a little bit of waterproofing treatment and a little bit of luster to it. But they're good to go and I'll continue wearing these. You notice some have a blue speckled paint on them that just comes from marking some timber and uh, got a little bit on that, you can't help that. These are good boots and I'd like to find them again. I went on um, Cabela's website just to see if I could find them and I couldn't. So um, I don't know where I'll get some the next time around, but I'll probably get one more pair in my lifetime. Just thought you might be interested. Random subject. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.